day after day. Countless hours of an addiction just as damaging as all the rest. One that is brainwashing and time consuming, efficiently taking over our lives. One that damages us not only internally, but through our actions as well. As we enter into a sad but true reality, we present to you the cell phone addiction. You see, this addiction is more common than we are to admit, even though most won't admit it. About 50% of the young population is suffering from a cell phone addiction as we speak. According to King's University, their studies show people will just simply touch their phone at an average of 2,600 times a day. There's a whole cellular universe that so many of us are trapped in. A different world that contains endless possibilities. For some of us, it is a way to escape normal life. For others, it may just be to keep up with political news. But whatever it is, the more we are on our phones, the harder it is to put them down. Phones can be very distracting, sending harmful waves of radiation to our brains, also known as blue light. Just like any other addiction, we deny the fact that this can be a problem. We think, how could I possibly have a cell phone addiction? This is a main theme that most addictions share. We never think we really have an addiction until we're presented with the valid information. It is damaging to our eyes and brain from bl the blue light being sent through our face. I can't- 66% of parents feel that their teens spend too much time on their phones. 52% of teens agree with this. 80% of teens check their phones at least once an hour. 72% of them feel a need to immediately respond to text messages and other alerts. 36% of parents argue with their children every day about cell phone use. And 77% parents feel that their children get distracted by their phones a few times a week. 